we are going to get a small overview of what we will be working on next week. So if you have your lab notes, you already have them cut and pasted in, then you're good. If not, then at least you need to make sure you copy up to this point, okay? And then the rest of this, you can at least the problems, you can copy those down after we're done, okay? Now the next thing is, so that you know what we'll be working with, you can go to toy, theater, dot com and when you go to that you're going to have something that looks like this so I'm going to come back to that in a minute okay so on toy theater you're going to see what we have that are called generally we call them two color counters when you have a red chip that is going to represent a negative okay so red is negative, okay? So businesses use that and they'll say, if you're in the red, that's not good because that means you're in the negative. A lot of times new businesses start in the red because they purchase lots of items and they have a lot of overhead costs, so they're in the negative. Now, if you have a yellow or black, get a different color here, yellow or black represents positive, okay? So if you're in class with me, we generally have yellow, but I believe on toy theater, we are going to be using black, okay? So black is positive, red is negative, okay? So negative, positive. And also in the business world, if they say you're in the black, that's a good thing because that means you're making money. Okay, so red, remember that's going to represent a negative amount. So I want you to think a second, what does negative mean? What does negative mean? Hopefully you understand that negative means something that is less than zero, an amount less than zero, okay? So our job today is we are going to create zero with our chips. So I'm going to get rid of this for a second. Make sure you have that because I probably will not rewrite it. Now as we move forward, I'll probably use symbols like a positive sign and a negative sign. So that will just help um, make sure that we're understanding. So on toy theater, if you come down here, you get to virtual manipulatives. So we're going to click on our virtual manipulatives and we're going to go down till we find our counters. There they are. I like to use this one, the two color counter whiteboard. Okay. So and I just use this to try to explain things. Oh, it looks like it is yellow on this, so that's good. So sometimes it's black, sometimes it's yellow. It looks like they're using yellow on this after all. So um, the first question here says, create the number zero with your chips. So I want you to think a second, and I'll kind of show you how this works. Um, if I put this here, that means I have one positive. I can press delete or the trash can, then it lets me start over. So if I put this there, I don't have one hole. Okay? So if I put this, I don't have one hole either. I have a negative one. Okay? So I'm going to have to do something that requires more than one chip in order to create a zero. Okay? So we actually have to use one of both of these chips, okay? A yellow and a red. Those equal zero. So if you see it this way, it might make a little more sense if you think about this. This is a positive one. Let me use a different color. Uh, I'm going to use purple. 
1 and this represents negative 1. So if I look at it kind of like this, even though I'm saying that this is a negative, I can treat this like 1 minus 1, so that's 0. Okay. If I have a 1 positive and 1 negative, that represents a 0 pair. Okay. So let's clear our board. Go back to our printout. So create zero with your chips. So that would be a yellow and red. Okay. So basically a zero pair is a positive and a negative. Okay. Now it says they want you to create the number four in two different ways. What kind of four is that? Well, that's a positive four. So I need to go over here and I need to create a positive four. Okay. So my first instinct is to go to the yellows, right? Because those are positives. Yellow and black represent positive. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So I have four yellows. That makes a positive four. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. How did I just make that? Well, I made it with four yellows. So I'm going to put positive, 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 positive. If you put Y, 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 that's okay too. That means you have four yellows. Now my task is what do I do so that I have another way of creating four? And this is important, okay? This is going to help us as we move forward. So I'm going to clear this, and I need another way of creating the number four, okay? So in order to create another way to create the number four, I'm going to have to do something a little bit fancy here. So I want you to think. If I have the number four, one, two, three, four, what can I give to this number that will not change the value of four? So I want you to think a second. What can I add to four so that I do not change the value of four? What do I add to it? Hopefully you know you can add a zero. So if you think about it, four plus zero is still four, right? So I need to add zero to this. So how do I make a zero? Well, we already talked about that. You have a zero pair, right? So that's zero right there. So this amount is actually zero. So basically I have, if I'm thinking about it this way, what I'm seeing here is one, two, three, four, five, five, take away one, which would be four. At least in my brain, that's how I'm thinking about it. Or I'm thinking of four plus, that is zero. This value is zero, okay? So all I had to do was add a zero pair, okay? So you can always add zero and you don't change the value of the number, okay? So let's clear this. So we had one, two, three, four, and over here, we actually had this extra, right? We had a zero pair, we had four and zero, so this actually equals four, okay? Now what we're gonna be doing next week is we're going to be adding, which means that we are giving something, or subtracting, which means we are taking away something, okay? So we're going to add or subtract, so we're either going to give, that's what add is, or subtract, which means take away. Now we have to make sure that we are taking away or adding the right colors. That's going to be super important. So before we finish up, I want you to come up with a way to make the number six, okay? Make the number 
six on your board. So if you chose that, perfect. That's the easiest way, right? So now I want you to make six a different way. So right here we have six positives. How else can I make the number six positive? I want you to think about what we just did a second ago. I can do this, right? I can add a zero to it. I can add another zero to it. Okay, because basically what this means is 6 plus 0 plus 0. Okay, so this is 6. So I want you to remember this for next week as we start going through our lesson. Okay, so make sure that you have your problems written down. Go back to the lab sheets if you don't have a copy and copy down the problems that we're going to be doing because we might be going not super fast but kind of fast so you'll be kind of rotating between looking at your google meet and your handouts and toy theater okay so i hope you all have a good weekend